continuing our joint investigation with the investigators of paranormal phenomena, we head underground to explore a slice of old Brighton in the smuggler's caves. The area in Brighton, called The Lanes, is well known for its shops, restaurants, pubs and nightlife, but also has much history hidden within its streets. But it's below ground which is just as fascinating, with ancient tunnels and caves that once led out to the sea nearby. It was in the 16th century that the tunnels were used to smuggle contraband into The Lanes, and further on into the 18th century was silk and liquor smuggling. Although this was not a full investigation, we have come to Brighton once again with a team from Investigators of Paranormal Phenomena for a Christmas meal, but with the added opportunity of exploring these fascinating tunnels that lie below KD's restaurant. Mm -hmm. Spiral in uh, Brighton today with the Investigators of Paranormal Phenomena with their guest once yeah, again. Yeah, um, we've got uh, Smugglers Tunnels and Cellars uh, underneath uh, the Dean restaurant, which is just on East Street. Fascinating place. Mandy and Rosie are coming up with some interesting stuff. We're going to go down to the uh, actual tunnels in a minute, have a look around there, see what they pick up on, uh, and join us for the evening. It's really, really fascinating place. We're going to get into the real sort of historic Brighton down here, so uh, yeah, very interesting so far. Alison of Investigators of Paranormal Phenomena explained some of the activity reported by restaurant staff members over the years. But when Tina first took this restaurant over, it was quite busy. And then she was getting, the, a lot of the staff couldn't come down here because they felt uncomfortable mm. um, and they, they felt like they were being watched by a man. <clears throat> and uh, she then rented it out and every time you'd come past this restaurant it'd be empty. And we kept coming in and saying that like, you know the story behind it, let us come down and cleanse. And they were like, oh no, no, we don't believe, we don't believe. Joining me this evening are Mandy, Patricia, Rosie and Nikki as we dust off the cobwebs head down to the cellars. We're in Katie's restaurant in Brighton in her cellars. In the cellars, which used to be uh, smugglers uh, cellars apparently. Yeah. Cellars, this yeah. is a Christmas party Flash. in no, Katie's place in the lanes of Brighton. Yeah, here. It's a really cool place. It's very warm down here actually. It is warm down here. It's not cold off. Rats. We're yeah. in the sewers. Rat poison. Strangled. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yes. I'm here with John Sells uh, from Investigators of Paranormal Phenomena and Spiral have joined them down in these smugglers yeah, tunnels. Yeah, smugglers yeah, tunnels, yeah. yeah. We're in the cellar now but we're going deeper underground shortly um, to see what we can find. Yeah, so uh, join us for the, uh, the next hour or so and see what we get. It feels as if this has been here for a lot, lot longer than what's up there. So I think what? maybe this was part of a big old house or something like that. And then that got knocked down or whatever, I don't know what happened, but rather than just getting rid of the whole lot, they left this as it was and built upstairs. Top upstairs, right. But I think this was like the basement area of a big house and it would go that way and keep going that way. So this is the, we're still in this in the cellar area. I mean, you're really getting into the, um, the history underneath Brighton here. It's going to be here for hundreds of years. We don't know much, too much about the history here. Um, but smugglers apparently use the tunnels which we're going to go down to in a minute and have a look around. They're really good, as Mandy was saying, maybe this was uh, below an old house. Uh, of course, it's a built-up area back in the day. Amazing place. There's a step there and like, a doorway that's been bricked up that shows that it does or would have gone that way. Right, because the seafront's just down, that, down there, isn't it? Not that far, it's only probably about a thousand yards. There were some chains up on the, on the ceiling and there's actually like a bath thing where they brought all the barrels down. I don't quite know what they've done with them in this bath thing. Probably washed them. You know they're not yeah. built on top of... And there, look. Down yeah. There, it's ancient. They're not older down like a, here like than it is uh, up there. Wall wall. And yeah, we were just saying this is like a pathway between two 
places. This was outside. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. This was yeah. outside. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I think. I think this was the walkway. The yeah, and sort of bustling going on. Yeah. You imagine the um, like Edinburgh. And it is. It's stinky. It's like when they built on top of the the city of Edinburgh. And then they just left didn't want the, the Mary King's yeah. Coast yeah. and all that. Yeah. yeah. This is what this feels now. Yeah. But I feel someone's been strangled down. So then maybe they would have built on top to. I don't know. Sort of. And they did. It was easier then because they wanted to reinvent Brighton because of Queen Victoria and yeah. making it a popular place to come. Actually, recently so a region. It's actually from the 18th century down, onwards. Yeah. Knocking down all the old stuff and then rebuilding it, it would have been a lot easier to just put a new mm. road over the whole lot and yeah. start again. But that's what I'm saying. We, with yeah. it, it's exactly the same with Edinburgh. Yeah. Because they had all those people down yeah. there, they wanted a new Edinburgh. They just so built, they just left more festering, yeah. didn't they? Built on top. It was time to climb down to the lower level and the old smuggler's tunnel. Can everyone break Nicky's fall? John, lay down! Where is she I'm covered in John. cobwebs! Oh, it does move. Those webs? Oh my fucking word. They're living in. Oh man, they're mental. They're really big. But then you find that in a lot of um, yeah. interrogation. Old houses. Now I can't see. This could have been the wine cellar or the, the pantry. I was only spiders yet, though. There are a million spiders down here in cobwebs. It's, uh, if you're an acrophonic, if you don't like spiders, you're quite warm. <laughs> Nikki loves them. Look, look at the hood. The hood's right up there, girl. Oh, they're wusses, are they? Aren't they wusses? Aren't they wusses? Look at us exposing ourselves to. Oh, madam. We're exposing ourselves to all the spiders. Yeah. Have you got my wellies on camera? I went to a special effort to get You've got your wellies on camera, yeah. Did you get my wellies on camera? Yes, dear. Remember, John's got a recording here. Oh, he's camped out. Is that it? Is that as far as it goes? Yeah. Oh, that's a shame. I thought it would have been longer. Yeah, I thought it would have been longer. Yeah. Peace I thought it was it's possible that that was a water tank there or something, but you can see you where see this has all been bricked up. They, they've sealed it up, so that obviously goes through. But then you look, that's, that's um, recent, well, more recent to the rest of the building. So I don't know whether that's um, drained from outside or what it is, but there's a pipe sticking through there, another one there. So it's possible that later date, after the 1600s, they use these just as, as drainage tunnels. But these old girders are obviously holding up everything that's above. We headed back up to the cellars for final thoughts. Mandy's <laughs> reaction to the world's smallest spider. <laughs> There's a lot of hustling and bustling down up here. Like. Lots of hustling up here. Yeah, hustling and bustling business and lots of people doing lots and lots of things. Not active or whatever you want to call it. But in here, you can just see it all going on, and these are all separate little individual rooms. I don't know whether they're sellers of separate individual houses or whether it's um, one big. Uh, it feels like this place is one big place, and that size, lots of little houses with small cellars. Or, and then at that time, they were the actual houses. These are where people actually lived. And did you find a male presence is a lot stronger than a female presence? Not stronger, but I think you can certainly feel the difference between the two. Like, like with, when it's a female one, I feel a lot more emotions and I can feel what they're feeling. Whereas if it's a man, it's like they want you to know what they're going to say to you and that's it. But like when I burst into tears at that other place, mm. that was because it was a female, I think, and you have more empathy with them. But no, I don't know. Do you find men a, seem a to male, get their point across? Yeah, do you find a male easily? present will come in? If there's a man and female presence in the room, the male presence will come in a lot stronger and first yes. before a female yeah. presence. And the talk female over will come them in. almost. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I find that as well. Even with children, it's all, it's the boys rather than the girls. Yeah. That was yeah. like at Stammer House. Yeah. When I was getting the man's name completely, the whole name, yeah. and all I could get from the women was this noise. Yeah. Yeah. And then it all pieced together in the mm. end. But yeah. I got his full name straight away, and it was like booming voice. And then there's this. And that's all that. Have you got any idea what happened to your the man? Any idea how he, he died? He would, no, he did, really. Yeah. He doesn't. Basically, what he's told me is that he done. He was a bit of a runner, an odd job man. He yeah. would do. He would do whatever he was told to do. Um, if coal needed fetching or if water needed fetching, he was the one to do it. Um, 
he would feed, make sure everybody had water or, or beer when they came here. Um, he was also responsible for bits that went on downstairs, but he didn't have a lot to do with what went on down in the tunnels. But uh, apart from that, he doesn't say an awful lot. I get the distinct impression from him that he doesn't actually think that he's dead. Right. You know, that he's still alive and kicking, really. Even though he's quite lonely down here. It had been a very interesting evening here, with a unique opportunity to explore these tunnels. Brighton holds many hidden treasures, and along with our investigations at Stanmer House, and now the Smugglers' Caves, we continue our exploration of the town's alleged paranormal activity, as in a few weeks' time, we visit the old Police Cell Museum, and our next investigation. <laughs>